All right, sixth graders. We're going to talk about uh, in lesson 13.2 is the introduction to the coordinate plane. And we went through some of the basics yesterday related to the packet of worksheets that I gave you. But I want you to write down some notes today and I want to go through it again to make things clearer in your mind, okay? The coordinate plane is two dimensional, meaning that there are two numbers that are associated with the, the uh, coordinate plane. The x number is the number that tells you how far to go either right or left. If it's to the left of zero, then it's what? Then it's negative, right. If it's to the right of zero, it is positive. Yep, that's called the x-coordinate. And in uh, an ordered pair, this is called an ordered pair because it's a pair of numbers, <clears throat> the x number and the y number, and the x number is always written first. It's always uh, surrounded by parentheses, and the numbers are separated by a comma. So this is called an ordered pair. So the first number tells you how far to go right or left. That if it's positive 3, it means start at 0 and move 3 to the right. Then on the y coordinate, the y coordinate tells you how far to go up or down. If it is below 0, it is a what? Come on, class. It's a negative number. Right. If it's above 0, it's a positive number. So, in order to use the numbers to go to a point, let's say that we wanted to mark a point on here, point Q, we would use the numbers, start at 0, and go 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3, and then from here, 6 down. Why would we go 6 down? Because it's negative, negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that point we would mark as point Q. Okay? Now, which quadrant is point Q in? Quadrant 4. That's marked by these Roman numerals, isn't it? The quadrants are labeled in Roman numerals. And they go in counterclockwise. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if it asks you what quadrant is this point in, you would say quadrant 2. What quadrant is this point in? First of all, the coordinates are 0, 9, right? Look at this coordinate, or this point. The coordinates are 0, 9. The first number tells you how far right or left. How far right or left is it? Well, zero. 0. So it's on the y-axis. It's not in any quadrant. You would say it's on the y-axis. Okay. So that was kind of a trick question. It's not in any quadrant, any quadrant. All right. How about this point? Um, notice that all the points in quadrant one are positive, comma, positive, because we go right and up. All the points in quadrant two would be negative, comma. Positive. All the points in quadrant three would be negative negative. 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 Thank you, Garrett. And class, all the points in quadrant four would be positive. 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 Negative. Right. What are the coordinates of this point? Zero, zero. We call that point the origin. This is called the origin. So you can mark that on your in your notes. Alright? 
when you are going to a point, you always start at 0, 0. If we're going to go to this point, 5, negative 7, we would start at 0, 0. Okay? Any questions about the coordinate plane, some of the features of it? Okay. Then, let's go to your assignment. Number one. What are the coordinates of point P? What is it, Johnny? Negative 6, 3. So it goes right to here, point P. So it is 6 to the left and up 3. Correct? Good. What quadrant is that in? 1, 2, 2. two. Yep. Right. Any questions on that? How about point Q? Great. Three, negative six. We marked that one before, didn't we? What quadrant is that in, class? Four. Four. Next one. Ava? Uh, negative three, six. Negative three, six. What point is that? R. 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 Quadrant two. Sam? Um, yeah, what's the next letter? Uh, S, and it's six, negative three. Six, negative three. Correct? So, six to the right, three down. Any questions so far? You guys have this? Let's go to the next page. What do we have to do in this page? What are the, what are the directions? Lily? Right. Right, we have to write the ordered pair. So we have to write the ordered pair in what? Point. In parentheses and separate the numbers with a comma. comma. Which number do we have to write first? The x or the y? X. The x always goes first. X comma y. So where is number one located? What, what letter is that? A. A. So where's A located? AJ? Negative 3, 2. Negative 3, 2. So up here? So we'd write negative 3, comma, 2. What quadrant is that? 2. Quadrant 2. Any questions? Next one. Okay, Noah. Negative 5, um, negative 4. Negative 5, negative 4. So it's right here. Is that B? Yep. And it's quadruple 3. Negative 5, comma, negative 4. Yep. And it's in quadrant 3. So we have to have Roman numeral 3. Make sure that you don't write that as a digit. You have to write it as a Roman numeral. Okay. No, you have to write it as a Roman numeral. Okay. Well, why? Because it distinguishes this from a coordinate. You don't write coordinates as Roman numerals. We write the quadrants as Roman numerals. So that way when we know, um, when you see the Roman numeral, you know it's referring to the quadrant number. Okay? Any other questions? I think we got this down. So that's all about the coordinate plane, okay?